Carter, entering the week, uh, what was your, your plan of attack? It's you know good to be at your home club, but maybe a little bit of uh, added pressure as well. Uh, how did you handle that? Yeah, there was a lot of pressure stroke play. Knew I would have a little bit of an advantage just because I played here a million times. I hold myself to a high standard, so I wanted to perform not only for myself, but for the club, for the members. So there was a lot of nerves, and I was just going into it saying, play smart, be confident, you're comfortable in most holes. And then going through match play, how would you describe your play and maybe the, the risk-reward options out there for your game? So there's a bunch of holes here where driver can be an option and it can also put you in bad places, especially with how firm these greens are. Um, so you really got to know where to put them. So I took risks, but I think I think it paid off. Then in the, the final this afternoon, uh, a little bit of a slow start, but you hung in there, turned it around at the end. Uh, you had a birdie on nine. Uh, did that seem to be kind of a momentum shift for you to send you two up? Yeah, I think the biggest shift was uh, five when I hit that shot. Even though we had the hole with birdies, um, it gave me a lot of confidence going on to, going to six and the, the two par fives and eight. And then once I made that putt on nine, felt the putter rolling. I rolled in a putt on 10, rolled in a putt on 12. Um, I just felt really confident in all aspects of my game after that, yeah. What's it mean to win the, the Long Island Amateur Championship at your home club? It just proves that I'm doing the right thing, proves that I, I do know the golf course um, better than most. It's just, a, it's just an honor.